What's up guys, this is Aaron here. Uh, I'm so excited right now because the Wayland just released the Cyanogen Mod 10.1 Beta 3 for the Samsung Galaxy A. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the ROM and I'm going to do a quick review of it. For those that want to know the full ROM review and the functionality, please watch my Beta 1 ROM review because yeah, uh, if I make this too long, the file will become too big and I have to take like about few hours to upload the video. So now, um, for those that are st still in the stock ROM, if you want to flash this ROM, please make sure your phone is, the phone model is Galaxy Ace GT S5830. Please do not ask me if it work on other phone and I'm gonna tell you this ROM will only work on Galaxy Ace GT S5830. So if you want to install this ROM, you're gonna remember, please make sure your phone is running 2.3 gingerbread and the phone is loaded. Once you have loaded, please make sure you have installed the Clock Mod Mod 5 recovery to install the ROM. So once you got that too, and you can start to download the ROM file right here. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna adjust the screen brightness for a while. Okay. Yes, gonna read the, the ROM file right here. This is a zip file. Sign Jamma 10.1 201 12 12 28 unofficial. So I have the file right now. Copy to your SD card and reboot it to the Clockwood mod recovery. So my phone is currently running the beta 2 and gonna flash the beta 3. I'm gonna show you guys who are still on the beta 2. I'm gonna upgrade to beta 3. So the phone is rebooting right now. So right now, for those that are ready to flash this ROM, please make sure you're gonna wipe the data and factory set. Of course, I'm not going to do that because I'm on beta 2. Upgrading, upgrading to beta 3 so I'm gonna not gonna uh, wipe data so please remember wipe data factory set and then wipe cache partition back so for those that are um, upgrading from beta 2 to beta 3 you just need to wipe cache partition and wipe delvi cache and for those that are from others ROM you need to wipe data factory set wipe cache partition and finally the, this is unnecessary but I recommend to do that uh, excuse me ah wrong press but never mind it's rebooting the clock mode, mode recovery wipe delv cache so once you have done that you are ready to flash the ROM so here right here here we go it's, it is installing So from beta 2 to beta 3, it will just replace uh, the system file that it has. Okay, right now it is done. So I'm gonna back and finally reboot the system. For the first boot, it will take quite long, like uh, two to three minutes to do the first boot. So it appeared the Cyanide Mod boot animation. But I'm going to change this to Jellybean Star this because I not really like this one. I like uh, Jellybean boot animation. I'm, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that later. So I'm gonna fast forward it for the first boot.
I'm done for the first boot. So let me just show you what is the change log in this release. So the first one is gallery issue is fixed thanks to the sign mod theme. So gallery fixed. What issue is that? I uh, don't really <coughs> know that because this is just a JPG file. But I don't know why it recognized to the video format. I don't know why you say it's capture.jpg. I don't know why it's recognized to a video. In my others photos too, as you can see, oh, excuse me, it's like a video format. I don't know why. I just clear the data of it, it's still the same. But never mind, second one is lock screen issue with cutter clock is fixed. That which means that you don't have the cutter clock and you can add widgets as well very nice third one is GPS improved add a live wallpaper picker so you can install live wallpapers in this ROM see live wallpaper pickers but it doesn't come with any live wallpapers you need to download from the play store and uh, add a locus and languages support so you do have a lot of language excuse me uh, language yes if Basa Melayu uh, I have a lot of Dutch uh, a lot of even Chinese lots of the languages which is pretty nice and uh, in it the script is now working so you can do some script on this ROM UI, res res excuse me. UI responsibility is now improved and finally the last one is Sanjuma source is updated so this ROM is working very very fast lightning fast um, compared to the Sanjuma 10 it, this is really really better uh, two times or uh, two to four times better than Sanjuma 10 very very fast and smooth yeah and Okay, now I'm going to show you how to change the boot animation to Jelly Bean style. So, the first one you're going to do is download Root Explorer first. You're going to replace it via the Root Explorer. So, the second one is, excuse me, I'm going to download the boot animation dash jb.zip. I'm going to put the download link in the description. So before you replace to the system, you're gonna rename it. You're gonna delete the JB and the dash. Looks like this. Boot animation dot zip. So now long press it. Whatever you want, you can copy or move. I'm gonna choose to move. Go back. Go to system. Scroll down to media. Before you paste, please make sure you have mount the R O. So now you can paste it, replaced. Okay, now I have it replaced it. I'm gonna sh I'm gonna reboot the system and show you. I change the boot animation. It's just simple. It looks like what uh, Nexus 4 and the Galaxy 8, uh, Galaxy Nexus have the boot animation. Very nice. It's rebooting the system. So now I've changed the system with animation. So I think that's it guys. Hope you like this video. Please hit the like button. Comment down below if you have a problem. So I will see my next video. This is Adrian here from Technology Today. Bye.